So we're heading to this uh, not my president uh, protest at the University of Rochester. I don't know. It's been a crazy week. Somehow, an individual who has divided this country more than it was already divided with racist, uh, Islamophobic, xenophobic, homophobic uh, rhetoric, an individual who has put everyone down from minorities to uh, those in the LGBT community to Muslims, individual who has even uh, made fun of and ridiculed uh, those with uh, handicap challenges, the, the disabled. Here's my thing. Those that know me and follow my work know that uh, I support any kind of protesting, uh, speaking out, peaceful protesting. Let's make that clear. But today is Veterans Day. And I just want to hit on something real quick. As much as I disagree with um, many aspects of our government and our criminal justice system and the dark, deep, long history that this country has um, of racism. The truth is that had it not been for the veterans and each and every one of them who uh, gave the ultimate sacrifice, I wouldn't be uh, enjoying the rights that I enjoy. So I just wanted to say that. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of uh, talk here, especially in Rochester, about this protest, um, about the fact that it's on Veterans Day. And I just wanted to, to hit on that uh, because I am mindful of that. I am. I am mindful of the fact that today is a day that has been uh, set aside to uh, remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. And, and I am thankful for that, despite of what many may think. So with that said, again, back to this uh, Donald Trump thing. I've heard uh, many folks talk about giving him a chance. Uh, maybe he'll, he will surprise people. Uh, by the way that he leads. And here's my thing. I know politics is dirty. I know politics is uh, hypocritical. Uh, I know they get out there and they say one thing and do another. And we all know that. But the thing about Donald Trump as a Latino, as a Cuban-American who has uh, biracial children, African-American and Latino children. What hurts me personally is the extent that he went to to divide this country, as I've said, even more than it was already divided. His wink wink to certain groups and a certain uh, population of our society who has always harbored these um, races and, and, and the most ill feelings uh, towards minorities and uh, the LGBT community and Muslims is, is what has made me realize that, you know, it's almost like when someone goes too far, when someone crosses a line, that there's no crossing back. And that is the that that's what's going to be the hard thing about Donald Trump as president is what is he going to do and how is he going to address that to fix that the hurt that he has inflicted on this country with the divisiveness of his of his rhetoric and how do you come back from that i mean think about it is there any turning back when David Duke, a leader of the KKK, took to Twitter to celebrate 
Donald Trump victory with tweets like, make no mistake about it, our people got Trump elected. David Duke gloating about Donald Trump being elected as president. Can you turn back from that? Yeah. <laughs> 